hello viewers and welcome to the video on john slema and this is going to be my last video on set theory so let's start suppose that suppose x is any non empty set okay and rho is a relation defined on set x and suppose that if the defined relation rho on set x is partially partial order okay if this defined relation rho on set x is a partial order then we already know that then x is called post set basically partially ordered set or x equipped with this relation this partial order is post set okay if some defined relation on some some non empty set is a partial order basically partial partial order means partial order relation is a relation which is reflexive anti symmetric and transitive then the set on which the partial order is defined is called partially ordered set or it is also called post set okay now if you recall the definition of chain then chain is nothing but the totally ordered subset of partially ordered set okay it is nothing but the totally ordered subset of partially ordered set and it is always possible to get at least one chain okay if we have some if we have some partially ordered set then it is always possible to get at least one chain or at least one totally ordered subset of partially ordered set okay suppose x is a post set that means some that means uh, some relation is defined on x and that is reflexive anti symmetric and transitive then uh, if every chain basically every totally ordered subset of partially ordered set basically if every chain in x has an upper bound in x if every chain of x has an upper bound in x then john slema guarantees that x has a x will have a maximal element okay this is the statement of john slema if we have some partially ordered set and if every chain of that partially ordered set say x has an upper bound in x then john slema guarantees that x will have a maximal element okay you all are familiar with what is meant by a maximal element okay so this is the statement of john slema statement of john slema if again if every totally ordered subset of x has an upper bound in x okay then john slema guarantees that x will have a maximal element okay so that's it and there is one more thing and that is actually john slema and axiom of choice are equivalent that means if we assume axiom of choice then we can prove john slema and converse is also true okay if we assume john slema then we can prove axiom of choice but we shall not go into the proof of those like we shall not go into the go into that kind of like that kind of equivalence but just remember that john slema and axiom of choice are equivalent okay if we assume one then we can we can prove other and if we assume other, other then we can prove converse is also true that means converse is also true okay if we assume axiom of choice we can prove john slema and if we assume john slema then we can prove axiom of choice 
So that's that's it about John's lemma. And uh, this is my